This video will cover how to install FFmpeg on Windows 7 and Windows 10. I'll have a timestamp in the description for you to skip to the relevant section if you want. I made this other video about a year and a half ago and have had a lot of questions about how to install FFmpeg since then. So I figured I'd just make a video about the process and update my current version at the same time. Except when I started making the video, I discovered the website I originally used to download FFmpeg from went offline about a month ago. Well, I've got a new link up with more up-to-date instructions, but it's a little confusing, so I'll just walk you guys through it. First of all, we need to download FFmpeg. You can go to the official website from here, but it's just ffmpeg.org anyway if you just want to type it into the address bar. Don't click this big green download button here unless you're using some version of Linux. The Windows downloads are right down here. I think both of these links have the same or similar versions to download, but the btbn link is way more confusing, so I'm just going to go with the gyan.dev one. He's got a brief description at the top you should probably read, but forget that, let's just scroll right down to the release builds. I'm using the Release Essentials version. These two links are exactly the same build, just one uses WinZip and the other uses 7-Zip. The full and shared versions have extra libraries if you're looking for the maximum amount of stuff to add, but none of this stuff is really necessary for what we're doing. Again, I'm just using the Release Essentials version. Once you've downloaded the archive, open it and extract the contents to your favorite workspace. I'm just going to extract mine to the C drive for ease of use. Once it's extracted, double click to open up the folder and then double click the bin folder. Right click the address bar and select copy address. For Windows 7, the next step is to open your start menu, right click the computer shortcut and select properties. You can also open the control panel and select system to get here. Or if you still have categories enabled, select system and security, then system. Here, click advanced system settings on the bottom of the menu that pops up, click Environment Variables. In the System Variables box, scroll down until you find the Path variable. Highlight it and click Edit. Place your cursor at the end of the variable value, add a semicolon, then right-click and select Paste. Click OK, click OK on the next few menus, then close everything out and open a command prompt by opening the Start menu and typing CMD and pressing Enter. In the command window, type FFmpeg and press enter. If everything's working right, you'll see a whole bunch of FFmpeg related information scroll down the screen. If that didn't work, you'll get an error saying FFmpeg is not recognized. Go back and double check each step or refer to the instruction page I'll have linked in the description. For Windows 10 users, once you have the address copied, open the start menu and type edit the system environment variables and open the control panel that pops up, should pop up after the first word. On the Advanced tab, click Environment Variables. Scroll down and find the Path variable, then click Edit. Click New, and in the highlighted box, right-click and select Paste to drop the new path into the variable. Click OK, and then close everything out and open the Start menu again. Type CMD and press Enter to open the command prompt. Type FFmpeg and press Enter to test it out. If everything works, you'll see a bunch of FFmpeg-related information scroll down the screen. If that didn't work and you have an error saying FFmpeg is not recognized, go back and double check each step or refer to the instruction page I have linked in the description. That's everything guys, you should be ready to roll. Hopefully this helps you guys out and I appreciate any likes or subscriptions you guys drop on me. Please share this around so that other people can make use of this really advanced, super awesome, free open source tool.